dear students welcome to the problem solving session on applications of cauchy residue theorem to evaluate real integrals in the basic video we learn how to convert the problem from 0 to 2 pi to integral over c these are all the steps we have to assume this preliminaries that is z equal to e power i theta 1 by z equal to e power minus i theta and using euler's identity write z and 1 by z from this we get cos theta is equal to z square plus 1 by 2 is it and sin theta is equal to z square minus 1 by 2 i z and d theta is equal to d z by i z now we can reconstruct this by writing integral over c f of z into d z by i z and c is nothing but the simple closed curve over a circle with radius 1 and center 0 0 if we do all this preliminaries then draw the diagram for the circle mod z equal to 1 in a very simple manner step 2 is your substitution substitute all the preliminary data here and convert the problem as integral over c f of z d z where f of z is the rational function on z then equate the denominator to 0 to find the poles and check whether the pole is lying inside or outside the region accordingly find the residues for the corresponding poles lies inside the circle somewhere and finally using cauchy residue theorem we can able to find the solution for this that is 2 pi i into sum of residues and from this we can easily track back and find the solution for the given problem integral over 0 to 2 pi f of sin theta comma cos theta d theta now let us go into the problem those who don't watch the preliminaries it is very important go and watch the basic video and come here so now to solve the problem step 1 preliminaries z equal to e power i theta 1 by z is equal to e power minus i theta by euler's identity we have z is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta and 1 by z is equal to cos theta minus i sin theta adding this we get cos theta is equal to 1 by 2 z plus 1 by z taking lcm and simplifying this we get cos theta is equal to z square plus 1 by 2 is it similarly subtracting this to that is z minus 1 by z and simplifying we get sin theta is equal to z square minus 1 by 2i is it and finally d theta is very simple it is d z by i z because z equal to e power i theta when we differentiate this with respect to d theta we get i into e power i theta z e power i theta is nothing but z so d z by d theta is equal to i z from this we can easily get d theta is equal to d z by i z and c is the simple closed curve with mod z equal to 1 now draw the diagram for mod z equal to 1 in a simple way step 2 substitution take the question as capital i because we are integrating now whenever you convert into z it is very important student do lot of mistake they solve everything but they will keep this integral as 0 to 2 pi this is the biggest error so when you convert into z first we have to convert into a simple closed curve c 1 divided by pi plus 4 d theta is d z divided by i z cos theta is z square plus 1 by 2 z now this 4 and 2 will get cancel and bringing this i z to denominator integral over c d z divided by i z into taking lcm we get pi z plus 2 z square plus 2 divided by z now i can cancel this z now i can take the constant 1 by i outside integral over c d z divided by 2 z square plus 5 z plus 2 and just rearranging this you can see the typed version and now i am going to take this thing as my f of z other than d z whatever there is inside the integral we have to consider this as f of z so capital i is equal to 1 by i 
integral over c f of z dz. Take this as equation 1. Where f of z is 1 by 2 z square plus 5 z plus 2. Now step 3. We have to find the poles. For this we have to make the denominator 0. So 2 z square plus 5 z plus 2 equal to 0. We can solve this using the formula minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. For the equation a z square plus b z plus c. In your school days you study in terms of x. Since it is a complex integration, I am just changing the variable, nothing else. Now a value is 2, b is 5 and c is also 2. Now substitute this value in the formula minus 5 plus or minus 25 minus 4 into 2 into 2 divided by 2 into 2. Simplifying this we get minus 5 plus or minus root 9 by 4. We get like this. So first let us subtract this minus 5 minus 3 by 4 minus 5 plus 3 by 4. Simplifying this we get minus 8 by 4 that is nothing but minus 2 minus 2 by 4 is minus 1 by 2. Good thing they are not repeated so therefore both poles are simple poles. The poles are z equal to minus 2 and minus 1 by 2. So minus 1 by 2 means it will come here like minus 1 by 2 comma 0. Minus 2 comma 0 it comes somewhere outside the circle. Therefore z equal to minus 2 lies outside c. It is a simple pole and z equal to minus 1 by 2 is also a simple pole but it lies inside C. The trick here is whatever the number you get as poles, if it is less than 1 then it will lies inside C. If it is greater than 1 it is lying outside C. For example, I am telling minus 1 by 3i, 1 by 3i. In this both the cases just forgot the minus and just forgot the I see the number alone 1 by 3. 1 by 3 is less than 1. That means that pole lies inside. Suppose if you have minus 3i plus 3i etc. Here I don't bother about the negative. I just bother about this number. 3 is greater than 1. Therefore is it equal to 3i or minus 3i? They lie outside C. So now in this case z equal to minus 2 lies outside and z equal to minus 1 by 2 lies inside C. Now it is very important students. I just simplify this quadratic equation as it is. Okay. In some books or some authors they do like this. They will take this 2 common and they write like z square 5 by 2 z plus 2 by 2 that will be 1 is equal to 0. So they will find the roots for 2 into z square plus 5z by 2 plus 1 equal to 0. I don't go that method because if you take these numbers common, something will come in the denominator and it will be very tough for you to do the computation. So I am just directly taking this as a, b and c value and finding the roots. But there is one trouble here. Whenever you express the equation as it is, we are solving for a z square plus b z plus c equal to 0, for a is some value that is not equal to 1. Then when you factorize this, we have to multiply that number with the roots. You see here z plus 2, z plus 1 by 2. If you miss this number, then suppose you are simplifying this, you get 2z square plus 5z plus 2 divided by 2. So if this 2 is there, then only it will cancel and you get the original equation which you assumed or which is given to you. So I am repeating, if you are solving the equations like a z square plus b z plus c equal to 0, whenever you factorize this, you have to multiply with a into z plus some alpha and z plus some beta. Hope you understand student. In this case, I am writing 2 into z plus 2 into z plus 1 by 2. Next, we know that z equal to minus 1 by 2 is a simple pole lies inside C. So, according to the residue formula, 
R of A is equal to limit Z tends to A, Z minus A into F of Z. So R of minus 1 by 2 is limit Z tends to minus 1 by 2, Z minus of minus 1 by 2 and my F of Z is 1 by 2Z square plus 5Z plus 2. And we found that 2Z square plus 5Z plus 2 is very important. 2 into Z plus 2, Z plus 1 by 2. Now, these two get cancelled. Applying the limit minus 1 by 2, we get 2 into minus 1 by 2 plus 2. And taking LCM, we get minus 1 plus 4 divided by 2. So, we get 1 by 3 because I can cancel this 2. We get R of minus 1 by 2 is 1 by 3. So, we find the residues. Next, we have to apply Cauchy residue theorem. Integral over C, f of z d z is equal to 2 pi i into sum of the residues. And my residue here is R of minus 1 by Substituting the value, we get 2 pi i into 1 by 3, that is 2 pi i by 3. And most of the students would stop the problem here, they thought they found the solution. But we don't found the solution, we found it partially. We actually found the solution for integral over c, f of z, d z is equal to 2 pi i divided by 3. This is not our destination. Our final destination is equation 1. What is equation 1? Capital I is equal to 1 by i integral over c, f of z, d z. Just now we found f of z, d z is 2 pi i by 3. So this is equal to 1 by i, 2 pi i divided by 3. I can cancel this i. Therefore, my final solution is 2 pi by 3. So, integral 0 to 2 pi d theta divided by 5 plus 4 cos theta is 2 pi by 3. Hope you understand students. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.